YouTube, this is the Man 7431 coming back again with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair and connect your Bluetooth gamepad with keyboard. I'm going to be showing you how to connect this to your Fire TV or Fire Stick. Both of these methods will work exactly the same. So if you got a Fire Stick, Follow this video, and you're going to connect it the same way. If you got a Fire TV, it's going to connect the same exact way. All right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down with the remote because the controller is not going to work right now until you pair it and connect it. So, we're just going to scroll down the settings. We're going to go over to controllers and Bluetooth devices. I've got a password on mine. Actually, a passcode, not a password. And uh, what you want to do is you want to go down to game controllers. It's not other Bluetooth devices because it's not going to work. The only way these controllers are going to work, or any controller that you get, is going to work with game controllers only. Now, before Amazon gave us these few updates, it the controllers used to work with other Bluetooth devices, and the game controllers only worked with their controllers. You know, like if you get the Fire TV controller, but now since they gave us these updates, now it works with game controllers. So, let's go ahead and click into that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Add New Game Controllers. Now it's searching. I want you to take your controller. All right. And I want you to hold the home button until it flashes really, really fast. Okay. Now, if you pay attention to the screen, now you see how fast it looked at, found that controller. All right, now we're going to pair it. Should pair it pretty quick as well. Let's give it a little bit of time. And there it is. It's paired. The green light is on. We're good to go. The battery's okay. It's on version 65. Pretty much good to go. So now we can put the remote down. And now we can just do everything from the controller. We're going to scroll up. And one of the first things I want to go into is uh, the Genesis emulator. And let's do some Streets of Rage 3.
So as you guys can see, works perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. Runs very smoothly, no lag, nothing whatsoever. So we're just gonna go ahead and get out of that. Um, let's go ahead and go into Cody. Cause I know a lot of you guys probably wanna know if this works with Cody. Two HD movies. Try out X Men. Doing this all from a controller here, guys. And as you can see, works perfectly fine. So Cody works pretty good. All right. Um, let's see. Let's do some Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Let load up here. I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. So as you guys can see, works perfectly fine. Let's see, what else? web browser the web browser on this guys I'm gonna show you now um, if I go into the web browser 
Um, what you have to do is you have to click the home button and this is going to put you into keyboard mode and mouse mode. And for some reason, I've got two browsers on here. I've got Firefox and I've got Chrome. And um, the mouse functions work perfectly fine on this, but the keyboard functions don't work on this at all. Okay. I pushed every button on this pad here and it's just not doing anything. Now it brings up this one here. And again, um, it's just not doing anything guys. Um, so I really don't know um, what I'm guessing is because uh, I tried it in both browsers and it does the same thing. Um, the keyboard, this keyboard here will come up, but you can't do anything with it as far as this keyboard goes. Like you should be able to just hit the back button and clear this out, but it doesn't do any of that. So, um, I'm guessing since this isn't really optimized for the Fire TV or Fire Stick, um, this controller isn't optimized to work with these web browsers on this. So, that's the only downside is if you have a Fire TV or Fire Stick and you have a web browser um, installed on them, this keyboard is not going to work with it at all. Okay. Just to let you guys know that, but everything else works. If you want to play old school emulators, um, Grand Theft Auto, any other game that has controller support, it will work perfectly fine. It just doesn't work well with, um, web browsers as far as the keyboard function goes. Okay. So, with that said, guys, um, I think this is a really cool controller. I like it. Uh, very lightweight. Haven't had any problems except with the web browser on the Fire TV, okay? But Cody worked. Um, the Sega Genesis emulator worked. Grand Theft Auto worked beautifully on this all right if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up comment down below and tell me what you think about the bluetooth gamepad with keyboard um share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to this channel for more videos the next video that's going to be coming is me connecting this and pairing the controller to my desktop PC. So if you guys don't want to miss that, subscribe, stay tuned. That video will probably be coming later on today. This is the man 7431 signing out and I'll catch you guys on the next one.